How is it over there? Hope you're doing well. Today I want to start the new course about Hecras. We start from beginner to advanced. And in the first tutorial, I showed you how you install the Hecras software for free. And I put the link in the tutorial in the description. You can find it easily. Now we have this cross section, as you see. Here, two meter lengths. The bed width is six meter. And this width is two meter. The height from the bottom to embankment is 3 meter. We have two cross section and the length is between them 500 meter. Let's put this data into the hair cross. And in the next tutorial, we talk about real application and real example, which is solved by hair cross. Just to be familiar with the software, we show you how you calculate uh, the profile, velocity, fraud number, and shows all the data regarding this channel. Let us open the Hecras software. That's Hecras. It appears like this. Double click. From here, first we have to create a new project. New project. From here, you can determine the directory. I selected disk E, this file, Hecras. Otherwise, you can create folder, new folder if you want. I already created a folder, its name, Hecras. From here, you can determine title channel for y okay good second step we have to change the unit you see us customary unit we i want to change it to metric system from unit system select international system okay yes then click this uh, icon from rival reach you can click the reach double click okay Rival, name it Rival. Maybe this uh, Rival has its name, but now there is no name, so I just write Rival and reach one. Okay. And from cross section, you can add a cross section here. Option, add a new option, add a new cross section. ID let be one. Here in a description CS one. How we can insert the data? If you look at the cross section. Here is zero from left to right. Here is zero, and from here is two. It just uh, it, uh, we have to add uh, x direction. Here, length is zero, station zero, and elevation three meter. From here, length is two, two meter, but elevation is three. Here, elevation zero, but length is eight meter. Two plus six, eight. Here, elevation is 3 and the length is 10. Let's insert this data to the hair cross. Okay. 0, elevation 3, 2, elevation 0, 8, elevation 0, 10, elevation 3. From here, downstream reach length. From here to here, how long it? It is 500 meter. 500. Right bank, 500. Manning is value. You have a manning is value for your channel, but I here for left bank I put 0.022, and for the channel always it's greater 0.023, right bank 0.02, also 0.02. Okay, left bank you have to add zero. Here zero left to right 10 meter. Apply the data. You see your channel here 0 to 2 2 to 8 8 to 10 and the elevation is 3 meter if we want to uh, create another cross section just here from option copy current cross section here you have to add the id to rival station 2 station 2 okay cross section 2 there should be a slope to flowing water so we add the difference between this cross section is 3 meter from option adjust elevation here at minus 3 meter okay you see how it change okay every data is correct to this cross section also apply data if you don't see your channel just from plot option full plot you can see your channel here it's the same geometry 2 to 8 to 10 and the elevation is 3 you see minus 3 to 0 it's 3 is the height okay from tools interpolation 
within a range here you can select it I selected all RS linear interpolation and the length of each segment I selected 50 meter it, we, we will get 10 segments just click interpolate close now we have uh, 10 segments if you count them okay we don't need this anymore yes from edit steady flow data we have to add flow data from here let be the a Q discharge 300 meter per second reach boundary condition for example in the second boundary in the second cross section we know the water surface let be 2 meter ok good you can save save flow data ok good now we are ready just from run steady flow analysis here I let be one. You select it subscript subcritical, supercritical, mix it, I select subcritical, compute. Okay. So run is completed. Let's see the our result. From here, cross section. Also you can from here you can get, but I directly get cross section. You see that's our cross section. Uh, and also we get the different velocities velocity here as you see 1.09 velocity here 3.89 that is a, a velocity distribution in, within the channel and that's energy grade line it shows you water surface that's water surface okay uh, switch to the second cross section that's the second S switch to the first one that is the first one if you want to see the profile from here you can see the profile this is energy grade line this one water surface this one critical uh, height and this one the ground and also from table you can see all the data Q minimum channel elevation water surface elevation for each uh, station as you see that is station one station 1.1 station 1.2 energy grade line shows energy grade line slope velocity in the channel flow area top with this fraud number you see it's subcritical okay that's all for today i hope it can be helpful have a nice time